My greatest struggle is that I'm bipolar type two. Um, I tend to be depressed most of the times more than I am manic. Well, I was a normal junior high kid. I tended to, to get along and, and fit in, and in high school I fit in really well, but somewhere towards the end of my high school time, uh, I started to notice I, I was depressed. I had no reason to be depressed. I wasn't going through a breakup. My family was still intact. In fact, I even found Jesus, and everything seemed to be going right, minus I would go to school and act normal and come home and feel terrible. And it wasn't until around the age of 20 that my mom and my girlfriend, who had noticed a big change in me, started telling me that I needed to go to the doctor and talk to them about it. And I will never forget when, the, after tests and after some discussion, uh, hearing the words that I was diagnosed bipolar type two. And my first thought was how embarrassing. I kept it a secret because when I was a kid, I heard the whispers of our neighbor who battled mental illness, who was depressed, he was suicidal. A couple of times he had tried to take his own life. And I remember hearing the jokes that were told about him, hearing minor things that were said about him, and I just didn't want that to be said about me. Uh, the doctors kind of reassured me that this was gonna be treated like any other illness. There's medication, and once we find the right combination of medications, I'd be able to live a normal life. For me, the most difficult piece was being diagnosed and not knowing anyone in the church that struggled with it. I didn't know one other person, one other leader, one other member, one other volunteer, a pastor, anyone that had struggled with it. And so I felt very alone and isolated. I knew I was called to serve God. I knew from church that I was called to do something, but I kept thinking, how could God ever use someone that's bipolar? How would God ever use me when I battled what I battled? And it wasn't until I opened up to some pastors and shared what was going on that they were able to minister to me and encourage me on this calling God had put on my life to serve others. And they had actually pushed, and as they ministered to me, it empowered me to minister to other people as well. I think now being a part of a church that is talking about it, it's enabled me to share my story. And not only has that been beneficial to those that are, that are sharing the same story as me, it's been beneficial to me because I found I'm not alone. I'm not on an island by myself. I'm actually going through this with many people. And as we've learned a journey together, it's made my journey a lot more, a lot easier, a lot simpler to do. You can fight this on your own to some degree, but you're gonna lose the battle. Sure, there might be stigma. Sure, some people might not understand or might not know what you're going through, but the good far outweighs the bad and the help and the hope you get from seeing other people carry you through the weak times is one of the best things that God has gifted us with. I wish whether in the church or out the church, whether you lead a church or don't lead a church, that people would be more outspoken about it, that they would create a space that is safe for people to share who they are, um, because I think people would be shocked how many people struggle with mental illness. And I think once the space is created for someone to be able to share, it not only frees that person up of the burden, but it helps provide a space for, for a, a community to come together in ways like never seen before. What gives me hope is knowing that I won't spend eternity like this, knowing that one day I will stand in heaven perfect, made whole by Jesus. Um, what also gives me hope is my family and my kids, knowing that I need to stay strong and I need to stay connected because I care and love them deeply. And getting to watch them and getting to see them grow and getting to, to demonstrate to them what it means to be sick and to battle an illness in a God-honoring way is important to me.